hi welcome to draw sql review video in this draw sql review video we're talking about absolutely everything i need to know about draw sql that is with the two that i need to try out the two that i need to check out if the two that will be of benefit to you or just another tool out there that you need to run away from and not waste your time and money on we'll be looking at all of this in this draw sql review video we'll also be looking at what draw sql is all about that is what are the features what are the benefits of draw sql what do you stand to gain using draw sql and as well we'll be looking at the users of draw sql that is who can actually make use of draw sql we'll be looking at all of this in this draw sql review video we'll also be looking at the pros and the cons that is the good and the bad side of draw sql for any product out there that is doing good that is doing amazing we we'll look at it very carefully you find out that it's also got its own bad side so we'll be looking at the interesting part and as well as the bad side of draw sql we're also looking at the pricing plans that is the different pricing plans that draw sql has got in store for you as to the different features as to the different capabilities as to what it can actually undo which is why it's very important for you to stick to the end of this draw sql review video so i get to see all the pricing plans that draw sql has got in store for you we're also looking at what others are saying about draw sql that is the present and existing users of draw sql what they are saying about it which means you do not necessarily have to listen to all I have to say about Draw SQL, but you get to see what other users of Draw SQL are saying about it. We'll also be looking at my final recommendation as to what I personally feel about Draw SQL. If it's the two that will be of benefit to you, the two that will be of benefit to your business, or just another time wasting a money wasting tool out there that you need to run away from, which is why it's very important for you to stick to the end of this Draw SQL review video so I get to see all the important tips that I'm about to draw up about draw sql now to draw sql review in full this is draw sql home page this is draw sql home page now what does draw sql actually do draw sql is actually a database design that da, da, database diagram design um tool that actually allows you to easily um, create collaborate and visualize all your entity relationship diagrams so that actually helps you to easily um, create visualize and as well collaborate with all your entity relationship diagram so it actually helps you to it, it actually it is actually um, especially it, it comes in very handy whenever you're trying to like, probably when you're architecting your app or you are adding features to your code base so it actually allows you to easily um design visualize and collaborate on your entity relationship diagrams for all your databases so it said beautiful database diagrams design visualize and collaborate on entity relationship diagrams for your database so if you're actually if you're a developer that's actually looking to actually create collaborate and as well if you want to visualize your your relationship diagram for all your databases you can actually make use of draw sql for you to achieve all of this now let's look at the pros of draw sql number one it allows you to easily visualize your database schema and see how everything fits together that is when you make it of draw sql you'll be able to actually see how all your database schema how you'll be able to actually see all of them and see how everything fits together so it actually helps you to easily uh, easily visualize all your databases so it's just like having a living document of your app or your or your or your website so that is that is actually like having a living document of your app of a app of your app schema and helps you helps you when you are trying to actually uh, uh, when you are trying to architect a new feature or you're trying to onboard a new member to your team so that if that, so you'll be able to actually make use of draw sql to help you to actually visualize your database schema you'll be able to actually see how everything fits together so it actually provides you with an overview of how your database how your database schema actually looks like you'll be able to see how they how they relate to each other how they how everything fits together and as well you can also make use of that draw sql to help you to actually onboard a new team member to your team so we probably when you are maybe if you're actually architecting a new feature for your for your for your application or your databases or you want to up onboard a new team member you can actually make use of draw sql to help you to visualize your database you to see over over be able to actually have a, over an overview of how your database schema how they how they all fits together number two it allows you to easily streamline your development workflow that is when you make use of draw sql you'll be able to actually streamline your your development workflow that is you'll be able to actually collaborate with your team members and share responsibility 
to actually keep your schema diagrams up to be up to date. So when you make use of Dual SQL, you're able to it actually improves your team development. It it it, it actually it streamlines your development workflow and enhances your team um, development. So it actually helps you to easily um, it actually allows you to easily collaborate with your teammates. So I can easily share the responsibility among each other in order to keep your schema diagrams up to date. So it actually is that with with SQL as a, as a single source of truth for your for your database. So there's no need for you to manually sync syncing there's no need for you to manually sync between different developers and offline tools anymore. So it actually saves you that time and as well as the stress. Number three, you got an extensive library of database. You got an extensive library of database diagram templates that you can choose from. That is when you make use of Google SQL, it actually gives you access to an extensive library of database diagram templates that you can actually choose from. That is, you do not need to actually uh, start from the scratch to actually uh, build your own database diagram. So you'll be able to actually pick from any of the any of the any of the any of the templates that Google SQL has got in store for you. You can just pick of your of your choice. You can pick any template of your choice that actually fits your your style, that fits your brand. And you can just make, and you all you just have to do is just make little customization, and so you don't need to actually start from scratch. So it saves you that time. So it gives you access to library of 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 database diagram template that you can actually choose from, like your WordPress, your Voyager, your Refinery CMS, your Laravel Cache, and many more. Number four, it will significantly save you time, money, and stress. That is the time, the money, and the stress that is involved in you trying to actually um look for like, trying to actually employ the service of different developers. Or off or offline tools. It saves you that time. It saves you that money and as well as the stress. Number three, number five. It allows you to easily import and export your database. That is, when you make use of Dual SQL, it can allows you to easily import your database. That is, probably if you have an existing database that you actually want to visualize, you can easily import its SQL scripts to automatically generate and to automatically generate a diagram for you. So when you make use of Dual SQL, it actually allows you to easily import import an existing database that you actually want to um, to visualize and you, so you actually allow you to easily import its SQL that is your that, that existing database SQL script to automatically generate and to automatically generate a diagram for for you and also that will allow you to easily export that is you'll be able to easily download diagrams as SQL scripts so that will actually run against the database or as an image to include in your documentation so if you want to actually include your database in your documentation you can easily you can easily export your database as as a image so that you can easily include them in your documentation so it actually allows you to easily import and export your database number six they've got a great customer support now for any product that i newly introduced to there's likelihood that i might encounter some difficulties while trying to use it for the first time that is where the customer support comes in they're always available to you whenever you contact them so you have to resolve whatever issue whatever difficulty they might be having so they can have a smooth and great sales. So their customer support is top notch. They're always available to you 24-7. So attend to your inquiries, to attend to your queries or whatever issue that you might be having. So they can have a smooth and great sale. Number seven, it also allows you to easily embed your database diagrams in your documentation, blog, or any other website. That is, when you make use of the SQL, you can easily um, embed your those your database diagrams, can easily embed them in your documentations or you can, as well as your, your blog or any other website. So it actually allows you to include those your database diagrams that you actually work on. Like that probably when you are done creating, designing, and visualizing on your database, you'll be able to easily include it in your documentation, like your Confluence, Lotion, or any other one. And as well as if you want to include them in your blogs or your any other website, so that your you'll be able to have, so that your diagram can actually have your diagram will actually have a, will actually have the full power of Joe SQL diagram viewer, so that you can easily browse your diagram. So when you when you embed them in your your blogs your, or your website or any of your documentation it gives the it gives your it gives your diagram the full power of draw sql diagram viewer so you'll be able to actually um, view them you'll be able to actually view it easily you'll be able to actually browse your di diagram very very easy and also and, the, and one good thing about it is it will, your your diagram will always be kept up to date automatically so uh, whenever whenever the source diagram is updated it will also be updated in your documentation in your blog and any other web any uh, or any website that you, you've actually embedded your database diagram into so it actually saves you that time of manually updating them you know, on when you probably when you've actually um in, embedded them in your documentation or your website so it saves you that time of manually updating them to automatically update whenever there is a change 
in the source diagram. Now, to the cons of draw SQL. At the time of making this draw SQL review video, I've not really found any bad side as to draw SQL. But for any photo that is doing amazing, that is doing well, there's always room for improvement. So I feel draw SQL can actually be better. They can actually improve on the tool. They probably can actually they can actually be better. Now to the pricing plans of draw SQL. The best minimum plan for you to get started with draw SQL is $19 per month. The best minimum plan for you to get started with draw SQL is $19 per month. But if you want to see other pricing plans, as there are different features, as there are different capabilities, as to what you can actually undo, and for you to see the pricing plan that's most stable for your own usage, there's a link in this video description that you can actually click on to see the full pricing for the various packages and the offers, and as well as the discounts that they come with. You want to see the different pricing plans that Draw SQL has got in stock for you, as well as different features, as well as different capabilities, as to what you can actually undo, and for you to see the pricing plan that's most stable for your own usage. There's a link in this video description that you can actually click on to see the full pricing for the various packages and the offers and as well as the discounts that they come with. Like I said before, the best minimum plan for you to get started with Draw SQL is $19 per month. Now to the users of Draw SQL, this is Johan. He said, I've been using Draw SQL for a long time now, both for personal projects and also professionally. It really helps visualize the DB creation process, that is your database creation process. Especially great when you are planning and launching tons of microservices that each need their own DB. That is your database. Okay. So this is Nuno. He said this is a great product. It has already helped me to easily visualize, break down, and organize an old database. While at the same time, we do it from scratch once we had a proper visual graphs of how everything was put was put together. It's a breeze to work on as it is as uh, it has the team with great support and constantly evolving features to make it better. If you do any DB work, this is amazing. Okay. Now, so my final recommendation as to what I personally feel about Draw SQL. If I'll say it's got a great platform that is reasonably easy to use, it's highly efficient for designing, visualizing, collaborating, and creating entity relationship diagrams for all your databases. This is by far the best tool and value for money to save you time and space and also get you the best out of your effort. By exponentially creating professional diagrams that stand out as such, making you be at the top of your game. They've also got a great customer support. Like I said before, they've got a great customer support. They're always available to you whenever you contact them. And as well, they've got a free trial. So if you want to try Adwa SQL for free, they've got a free trial for you. So there's no risk involved. You are safe. I'll say again, they are worth it because they serve the prime function of a database diagram design tool out there. Now, from everything I've said about Draw SQL, if you do SQL is something you want to use for your for visualizing and designing your database, your that your, your design that your database, there's a special link in this video description that you can actually click on to get started at a very unusual discounted price that you won't find elsewhere. If you want to try Draw SQL? Once what Draw SQL can actually do for your databases, there's a special link in this video description that you can actually click on to get started at a very unusual discounted price that you won't find elsewhere. Thanks for watching my video review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And if you've got any questions or any inquiries about Draw SQL, don't forget to make use of the comment section. And I'll try as much as possible to attend to each and every question asked. Thanks for watching my video review once again. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.